Hi, my name is Dion. I live in Dallas, Texas, and I will not be voting for Donald Trump despite me being a lifetime Republican. Donald Trump is divisive, he's uncouth, he lacks the gravitas for leadership, and frankly, he lacks the temperament to lead a country. The man simply does not have a moral compass and everything is about him. He's supposed to be this powerful masculine male who's in charge, yet he's never responsible. He's supposed to be the guy who is a genius, but he spends millions of dollars to conceal his transcripts. He's the man who has a transparent record but he doesn't reveal his taxes or his financial statements. This man pretty much lets us know who and what he is. I always knew who he was. Um, my very first general election, I voted for a man by the name of Ross Perot and voted Republican all the way through up until 2016. And I simply could not vote for this man. So I always knew exactly what Donald Trump is, but this message is more to the Republicans that still support him. Because many of them will say things like, well, Dion, you're not a real Republican. You are a rhino. I'm a rhino. Wait a minute. I don't cheat on my wife. I believe in family values. I believe in being fiscally responsible. I believe in personal accountability. Donald Trump, he's none of those things. I, I give to charities. He steals from charities. You know? So, you know, that's misdirection. Let's reason together. How does Donald Trump represent God? To the evangelicals, how do he represent God? From the very beginning, before he even got elected, the man said, grab him by the pee. He makes fun of mourning widows. He is at his rallies. It's like an Andrew Dice Clay uh, comedy skit. He's at his rallies mocking and ridiculing people. The disrespect. And he has lowered the office of the presidency. The man just simply needs to go. And again, he's so divisive. He pits one group against another. For example, he uh, he makes he makes this big deal about immigration, right? He'll say something like the immigrants, blah blah blah, despite hiring illegals at the same time fanning the flames of bigotry with poor white evangelicals. This is insanity, and he does it out in the open. No one calls him out on it, on the fact that he hired these people. No one calls him out on it. I'm calling him out. And, and again, I just want people to understand that this is not a beatdown session. But when Donald Trump uses vile profanities and he calls peaceful, kneeling individuals Despite what one might feel about not standing for the national anthem, they were peaceful. He calls them thugs. Listen, I grew up in an area where there were street people, people, guys who might be perceived or at least classified as thugs. I know how they talk. Thugs say things like, take her out, get rid of her. You got to dominate the streets. That's what thugs say. That's how thugs communicate. And he ingratiates himself to um, other global thugs and dictators while alienating and turning his back on our allies. We've lost our global respect, the currency of respect around the world. We are literally the laughing stock when it comes to the coronavirus. This man gave, despite saying that he was going to get rid of the national debt, he increased the national debt during economic prosperity. 
that's fiscally irresponsible. Of course, this is coming from the man who filed bankruptcy six times. Let's not talk about that. To all of my conservative friends, I understand. I understand. I get it. Voting for Biden might be difficult. I have fundamental differences with Joe Biden. But this man is not a conservative. He's not a Republican. He's only in this for himself. You know, he doesn't take a salary. I wouldn't take $400,000 if I can make literally millions of dollars off of playing golf and my golf course is violating the emoluments clause. We have to look at things for what they are. And whatever beef we might have with our liberal, progressive brothers and sisters, whatever beef we might have with our moderate brothers and sisters, we have to put all those things aside. We have to speak in November under one unified voice against Donald Trump and vote for Joe Biden. Because frankly, Donald Trump is a cancer that needs to be removed. Thank you.